Arkansas, Devious Monkey. I couldn't let this rest yesterday. And I was looking at lights online and deciding, okay, maybe I need to buy this, or maybe I need to buy that. Maybe I should upgrade this, upgrade that, whatever. And when it came right down to it, I thought to myself, you know what? Let's use the internet. Let's use YouTube. I did get a suggestion from my friend Yankee Cowboy, who said to directly light yourself from overhead. That got me thinking. And then I ended up watching a Peter McKinnon video where he said how to light for YouTube using just one light. So I took the light and moved the stand over close to the window and extended it all the way up to the ceiling. So you can see, I mean, I gave myself like, like an inch, maybe two inches, just so that it would not be scraping up against that awful popcorn ceiling that I hate. So when I'm sitting in this chair, the light from the softbox comes straight down to me. As you can see, left the grid on, and then I used this light and I turned it on, just literally turning it on, not turning it up or anything, because what was happening is that the light, as it was coming down at, at this angle into me, it was really making them bags under my eyes stand out. It was just kind of giving like a harsh shadow. So uh, when I turned the, this little light on right here, it, it acted as a very, very small fill light. And, in, and it filled me all in. And because of me having it set at like 3300 temperature wise, and that set at 3300 temperature wise, when I turned the, the LED panel on in front of me to get rid of all those harsh shadows, it also gave me some skin tone back. So that again, it looked like my natural skin tone. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to the setting here off the A6600 and finish out the video. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Here you go. This is what it looks like now. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna play around with these things so I can show you the difference. Right now I do have obviously my blue mood lighting on. I have the SL60 on, and then I have the LED panel on right in front of me. As you can see, as I, as I move my hands closer to it, you can see how it's on. I move in and it, you know, it really, really, warms my tone up. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like now without the LED panel on. Okay, so here you can see it gets really dark here because the light is coming straight down on me. And, you know, I mean, it, it, it looks okay, but I didn't quite like it. So now I'm gonna turn this back on and watch what happens. There, I get some skin tone back and it kind of, you know, fills me in straight on. Also, with all these lights on now, no harsh shadows. No, no, you can't see my, my melon shadow on either of the bookshelves. And everything sort of, I don't know, I think it just looks right. And I think I have a natural skin tone. Uh, I just have to be careful that I'm not leaning too far forward. Worst comes to worst, I can always, well, here, let's just do it. So this is, this is at the, the 3200 complete opposite end of the spectrum. And there it is all the way over to the 56, which actually doesn't look bad. Who knew? Uh, so let's play with this then. All right, so now we're at 5,600 there at 25%. Hmm, damn it. Now see that, that actually looks better. God damn it. Okay, so here we go. Here's the difference now. Now I've got the SL60 and the LED panel set back to 5600. And I actually think that looks better. Okay, here's why we do testing like this. Here's why you have to play around with your gear until you get everything set to the way you want it. And even then, sometimes it turns out differently. I think this looks better. Who'd have thunk? Okay, so again, we went from one end of the, of the spectrum to the other. So we went from what started in this, in this video here from the, what was it, 3200 or 3300 roughly, which is a warm, like as warm as you can get on this particular setup to 5600, which is very cool on this equipment. And I actually think the cool looks better. Okay, see, I'm glad I played. But again, that's why you test. That's why you play around with your gear. You can't just go, somebody says do this and you do it. You gotta try it. You gotta hit all those settings and that way you learn 
how to test the limits of your gear and see what they can do and what the results turn out to because I like this better. Okay, here we go. What do you think? Did it look better at the 3200, you know, where it was warm or here at 5600 where it's cool? Now that I've completely contradicted myself, you know, in this video, I need to hear what you guys think. What's it look like? Which one did you prefer? Let me know down in the comments. I'm going to stop blathering on before I change something else and fuck it up and have to go out and buy another thousand bucks worth of stuff. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I really want to know. And that's all I got for you today. So thank you for joining me. Thanks for going through all this with me and bearing with the fact that I keep changing shit. Like, subscribe and all that shit. And remember kids, forward and up.